How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about does shaving make your beard grow faster? So I will show you guys some pictures too and I will show you guys my workout routine of course and uh, yeah so you guys can see in this picture I am looking pretty fucking lean. I'm 181 pounds right now. I actually will be doing a cut you guys. Now some of you are probably thinking well why do you want to do a cut? Why don't you want to get bigger? Just for the simple fact that with my job right now that I burn so many calories that it's not even, there's no point in trying to bulk because I'm burning so many fucking calories. So I, what I will be doing is doing a little mini cut. This mini cut could be two weeks to maybe four weeks, maybe even six weeks, we'll see. But yeah, I just figure, you know, why try to consume 6,000 to 7,000 calories when I can just do a little mini cut um, you know, only eat around 3,000 calories and still cut and look fucking good. So that's my plan and that's what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. Um, it'll probably be closer to four weeks of cutting, to be honest. And uh, yeah, four to eight weeks, maybe. I doubt eight weeks. Again, probably four to six weeks. We'll see. But yeah, the title of the video is Does Shaving Make Your Beard Grow Faster? So we will go over that right away. Um, in this video right now, I'm doing a flat barbell bench, 185 pounds. I do 12 reps. No. I do 15 reps, 12 reps, and 10 reps, I believe. Um, I was trying to get all 15 on all three sets, but um, because I haven't done the flat bench in a while, uh, I just could not get this done. And remember how I say that you always should be switching your exercises up every four weeks? That's what I'm doing. Um, before I was doing incline barbell bench, flat dumbbell bench, incline dumbbell flies. I'm now doing flat barbell bench, incline dumbbell bench, and incline dumbbell flies. The incline dumbbell flies I left just because um, I want to do them a little bit longer. So some people like to think because if you shave, your beard will come back thicker. Some things to keep in mind is if that was true, then how come all these people who have insane beards, how come some of them are completely bald? Um, so again, you can't really judge um, shaving um, if it will make your beard grow by quicker. I will go into a little more detail about that. Um, the main thing to keep in mind about hair growth is going to be your hair follicles. So what people don't know is that people who have thicker beards, the reason why they have more thicker beards is because they have more hair follicles on their faces. Uh, genes, hormones, and age all influence how many hair follicles a person has. So, I mean, you could transplant some spare uh, follicles from another part of your body, but there's nothing that you can do to actually increase the amount of hair follicles on your face, you guys. As for the transplanting, that was a joke. You can't actually do that, you guys. So, I mean, you probably could, but that would be fucking stupid. Um, this exercise right now, I'm doing uh, chin ups again. Last time, last four weeks, I've been doing weighted pull ups. Um, then I was doing bent over barbell row and then barbell shrugs. So I'm doing chin ups instead of pull ups. So switching it up a bit. Then I will be doing seated cable rows and not bent over barbell rows. The shrugs I will be keeping the same. So going back to the hair follicles. So yeah, genes, hormones, and age all inf all influence how many hair follicles you can have. Um, so then why why do people think you know how come when I shave it it looks a little bit thicker? So. Shaving only gives the appearance of thicker hair, you guys. That's because a person's hair naturally tapers at the end. So when you shave, all you're doing is you're getting rid of that thin uh, looking hair at the very end and you're exposing the thicker part of the hair near the skin. So, so while the stubble may appear thicker, it's really not. It's just fuller because the hair is cut. It's straight and it's short. So... That is a reason why. So, again, shaving does not make your beard thicker at all. Um, again, it's just an illusion. Um, and how to actually grow a beard. Um, so you see some people, they may have a fucking insane looking beard at say 18 or 19. And you still have peach fuzz on your face. You can't grow a beard at all. That reason being is they simply just have better genes. And they have more hair follicles. And again, that's all there is to it. So if you can't grow a beard, it has fuck all to do with you guys. Shaving will not make a difference. Some of you have probably already tried that maybe for a couple of years and you still notice. 
why am I not getting a beard or what, what's happening? And again, the reason is genes, your hormones, and age all, influ all influence how many hair follicles you have. As you get older, again, you will have more, I'm guessing, just because, I mean, when you're 16 and when you're 30, obviously you're going to have more facial hair when you're 30. So hopefully I did answer uh, that question that the subscriber did have. You know who you are. So... Yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, uh, just let me know and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. So, yeah, now we can talk about this uh, workout routine a little bit more and we can go over what I will be doing. So, again, first set of this, I believe I got 15 reps, 12 reps, then 10 reps. Um, again, just doing body weight for the first week. Um, next week, I will add 10 pounds. So, I'll do weighted chin ups and probably get try to get three sets of 10 repetitions um, three sets of 12 maybe we'll see how it goes but again you guys have to realize that you have to keep switching up your exercises you can't just do um, pull-ups for the next two years and expect gains constantly switching up your exercises will allow you guys to keep making progress uh, again the law of accommodation the longer the longer you do an exercise the the less you're going to get out of it. So make sure you you keep switching it up so your body does not accommodate to what you're currently doing. Very smart strategy, and that's what you guys should be doing. If you guys have noticed that you're doing the same exercise for six months, eight months, switch it up a bit. I guarantee you if you do a different exercise, you come back to your old exercise, you will be stronger on it. Yes, at the very start, you may be a little bit weaker, but once you train that exercise for a week or two, you will come back stronger. And I have to say, you guys, I am looking fucking jacked in this video. I'm not going to lie. This is only my chest and back day, and my arms are just popping, you guys. So I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, I cannot imagine what arm day is going to be like on Wednesday. It's going to be absolutely sweet. For anyone who missed my video before, um, I am only training three days a week just for the simple fact that I feel working... 12 hour days, 96 hours every two weeks, and walking 40 clicks for my current job right now. I just feel that my recovery time, I need more recovery time. So if you need more time to recover, going to the gym more is not the answer. Go to the gym less and recover more, you guys. Recovery is probably the number one, the number one thing when you're trying to build muscle. That's why when people take steroids, their recovery time is increased and they grow more, you guys. That's all steroids do is increase your recovery time. So you can do more, you can recover quicker, and you can hit it harder. Again, nutrition is extremely important as well. But, I mean, you can eat all the calories you want. If you're not recovering, then it's pointless. So they go hand in hand. You have to recover, you have to eat correctly, and you have to progressively overload. So I switched up my exercises from last week. Before I was doing bent over barbell rows, now I'm doing seated cable rows, you guys. And uh, before I would always use a different cable attachment. I've never used this cable attachment before, and I really love it, you guys. It's fucking awesome. Some of you are probably thinking, wow, you seem pretty destroyed. Like, you seem like you're very tired. What's going on? I actually forgot my water bottle today at the gym, so I had no fucking water. Um... I made sure that uh, a cup or there was one guy in the gym. I made sure he left, and then there was uh, a little water cooler. And I just stuck my head under there, and I got a little bit of water. But that was near the end of the workout, you guys. So, not gonna lie, having no water and training for forty minutes extremely intensely, um, I was pretty destroyed. I'm not gonna lie. Really wanted some water, you guys. But yeah, arms are looking extremely good, you guys, looking very juicy. Another thing in my diet, too, is that um, I've been getting, like, a sore throat lately. Um, not lately, actually, for the past two years or so. Um, every Before it was every six months, I would get what seemed like strep throat. And now, lately, it's been more like every two months or so. So I did go to a specialist, and I will be getting my tonsils out. I actually just called. I was supposed to get them out in June. Uh, they told me to call in February. So I just called today, and apparently the wait list is going to be much longer. So it was supposed to take nine months. Now my guess is it will probably take a year and a half before I get the surgery. It's pretty fucking insane, you guys. So 
it's going to be a while. So with that being said, um, I don't know if it's actually my tonsils. That's what the therapist says. But let's be honest, a lot of doctors can be wrong. Um, I really hope it is the tonsils. But another thing that I've come to the conclusion is that whenever my throat gets really sore, it seems like I've been eating a fuck ton of grain products. So I know there has been a thing called, uh, you can have a celiac disease, I believe, or from eating too much grain. So I've been trying to cut down my grain. I know this is probably not the right, the right reason because I have looked at symptoms if you have celiac disease. And um, again, that's from eating too much gluten, which is found in grain products. So I mean, the symptoms, I only had, I think, one symptom out of maybe 10. So I really don't think that's the, the problem. But I mean, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, you guys. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, to get all your carbohydrates in for the day without having grains is extremely, extremely tough. That is another reason why I'm cutting, just to give this a go. Um, and to be honest, the bulk to get 4,000 calories in the day without eating grain is basically impossible in... Uh, in my mind, I mean, you would have to eat so many yams and potatoes that would be unreal. So, um, again, no grains. So that means no cereal, no pasta, no bagels, no whole grains, whole grain bread, um, no cookies. Basically, uh, no rice, no oatmeal. Basically, like majority of a bodybuilding diet. Um, is lots of grain so that's why I kind of want to cut too so my carbs now are going to be uh, yams yams you get a ton of carbs it's around 60 grams of carbs for 200 200 gram of yam uh, baked potato you get a ton of carbs as well so blueberries too uh, it's a fruit I, I don't know why the fuck I said it's a fruit all of you guys know blueberries is a fruit um, you get 21 grams of carbs so that's fucking amazing um, I will, I will be eating a banana in my shake now, which I did try yesterday, and it's amazing, you guys. Spinach, whey protein, and a banana, a frozen banana. That's what I do. Uh, I peel the bananas and I put them in the freezer so I can have them in my shake. Just for the simple fact, you buy six bananas in three days, they're like rotten. So definitely do not like buying produce and it goes rotten. So that's what I will be doing frozen bananas and it tastes amazing you guys so yummy fucking love that shake also we'll be eating more broccoli um what else broccoli broccoli spinach yam potatoes i think that's about it for the oh for fruits gonna be blueberries banana orange and avocado so pretty sick just did uh, 315 pounds for 15 reps, you guys. I was pretty destroyed, not going to lie, with no water. So, I Okay, so end of video. Peace.